everyone, hope you're having a lovely day. Welcome to this video. This is another empty products video. Since the time that I filmed my last empty products video, it was my first one, until now I have used a ton of products up. All of this stuff in here is all empty stuff. So some of these products you may have seen before in favourites videos or blog posts or things like that. Um, but I'm just going to do brief descriptions of all of them as per the last video. So the first product is a cleanser that I used while I had my dermatitis and it is the Avene um, Extremely Gentle Cleanser, like so. This was really good, it was gentle to the point where sometimes it didn't combat my spots as much as I thought it was but if you've got extremely sensitive skin this is amazing because it doesn't irritate it at all, um, really lovely to go on and take off, doesn't leave a residue afterwards. Um, and yeah, it's I, I, I used about two of these, I don't know whether I've got the other one here, no, well I used two of these um, and then I started trying other cleansers as well. Yeah, if you've got kind of combination to oily skin I wouldn't really recommend it because you still get spots and I found that I had more once I was using this. The next is an eye makeup remover and it is the Johnson's Face Care Daily Essentials Gentle Eye Makeup Remover Removal Pads. These, I just saw these while I was browsing on the Boots, Web Boots website and I thought I'd try these. These were like £1 something and I thought, you know what, great for when I'm out and about, great for travelling, things like that. Um, yeah, and so basically they are, are these already soaked um, eye makeup removal pads. They're quite thick, which I found really interesting. Um, but I did use these up really quickly, so I wouldn't recommend using them as kind of your everyday makeup remover because they go really quickly. Um, and you have to keep buying more. There's only 30 pads in here. Um, so there we go. Um, but yeah, um, I thought these were really effective though. Um, they really got taking off makeup. Um, even my, some of my waterproof makeup, if I sometimes forgot my usual waterproof makeup and I used this when I was out or staying over somewhere, they did a pretty good job, I have to say. Um, oh, hello. I don't think I get these again just for kind of cost effectiveness. Um, but yeah, these are really good anyway, and I might see whether they've got like an like a bottled version of it. Next is a product that I've been really loving and I've featured it in a couple of videos and it is the Colab Dry Shampoo in the fragrance New York. Um, I'm not going to chat about this too much because I've featured this before. Um, yeah, I have really loved, really loved this. Um, I love the Sheer Invisible formula because it leaves no trace at all of dry shampoo. However, I, I don't know... I don't know why, I don't know whether it's because I've used it so much and for such a long time, but I'm still a Batiste lover. I still love that a lot, um, even with the white powderiness. I've got it in today and I don't know, I think if you're planning on using it um, more than once, so kind of two days in a row, the this isn't as effective as, as the Batiste one, but this is a really good rival. So. Um, I kind of alternate between the two now, so um, so yeah, it's done a really good job to get up there with Batiste, but um, yeah, I think I'm still, Batiste is still a nose ahead, I think. Oh, and someone wanted me to say hi Russia, so, hello. <laughs> Next is a day cream that I had for quite a while, actually, and it was a uh, sample that I got given at a bloggers event, and it just kind of sat in the back of my beauty cupboard and I was like do I use it or not um, and then I was I ran out of my usual moisturizer and I was going through my bits and pieces and I saw this and I was like yeah I'm gonna give it a try and it's the Exuviance multi protective day cream now this was really surprising it's lasted ages and I'm really glad it did because I loved it so much um, as I recall um, it was like the perfect balance between thick and thin, um, so I could use, it was f really good as a day moisturiser, and but just as good at night. I think probably I would get, if I got, got this again, I would get like a night cream, um, because this has got SPF in it, so just, just for that reason, just so I don't waste it. Um, but this was really good, the pump was a bit of a to get product out, but 
Um, apart from that, I really, really love this. Even though it says with sunscreen, it didn't really have that sunscreen kind of texture, um, so which was really, really good. Uh, Next is a little tiny sample bottle of the Clarins Water Purifying One Step Cleanser. And this little tiny, teeny, tiny bottle. Um, yeah, I really loved this. I was really sad that there wasn't really much that in it because I really loved it. Um, yeah, what can I say? It kind of reminds me of a little bit of um, kind of the, I'm gonna say this wrong, micellia water? Like Bioderma and the Garnier version of that and things like that, this is kind of like this. Um, yeah, really, really nice. Um, smelled really nice, it was mint essence water, I think, yes. So it smelled really nice. This lovely little cleanser. I'm um, not sure whether I'd repurchase this because I am deeply and firmly in love with Bioderma at the moment. Um, but this is a really good cleanser anyway, so I think I might go back to this at some point. Next is an old favourite of mine, and it is the L'Oreal L Net Satin Heat Styling Spray, and it's the Volume One. I have used this for many, many a year. Um, I picked it up when I was getting the L Net hairspray at some point, and loved it a lot and kind of kept it um, kept it going since then. Um, the only thing I would say about this is that it's quite deceiving. You don't get as much in a bottle as you think. And I have tried other heat styling sprays since then and nothing really beats this. Um, so this is definitely a repurcher because I love this so much. And the pump as well. I don't know if it's actually going to squirt. No, it's not going to squirt anything out. The pumper is really good as well. Um, so yeah, uh, that's definitely a keeper. What is this? Oh, the next thing is a little sample size of the Diesel Lover Dose perfume. Now I have the full version of the Lover Dose tattoo, um, and this one, this was slightly more licorice smelling um, than the tattoo one, and I actually prefer the tattoo one. Um, I like lic licorice and acid and things like that, but um, personally, I, I I like it in little bits, not a lot. So for a sample size, it's really good. I think if you're looking to kind of get these, the Diesel Lover Dose one, try the original and the tattoo and see which one you prefer because they are both, there's, there's the notes in it are quite different. And actually I have two more samples that I've got to put in this box. Um, but the first one is the um, Victor and Rolf Bonbon perfume, which was really cute smell. It was. It was like very fresh and kind of a great pick-me-up scent. Um, great for evening though, I think. I think it's, it has got some dark notes in it that would you could have for evening. But I loved that. that. But this next one, oh my gosh, I need to get it. I just need to get it at some point. It's the Carven scent and oh my gosh, this smells amazing. I, I need to get this. The main reason why is because it smells like pink grapefruit. And I love the smell of pink grapefruit. I absolutely adore it. Um, and I just need to have it in my life. So I was really sad when this sample ran out because it's just gorgeous. Um, but I'm definitely gonna re I'm gonna purchase this because it is just so nice. It looks really weird. Look, I'm just like pumping it to my nose like. So the next product is the Organic Surge Lavender Meadow Hand and Nail Cream. I think I got this in a goodie bag, I think, um, at some point. Um, and this smells amazing. If you like lavender, you'll love this. It's, it's organic, which is obviously really good. I've actually found myself transferring more to organic products, um, just slowly but surely, like I've bought a couple um, yesterday and and obviously this is organic as well um, and but this uh, this did absorb instantly like this was really good um, you didn't have to work it into your hands too much the next product is a product that I love and I I, I love this so much it is the this one get Lux glam again replenishing treatment now I featured this ages ago I think it was in a favorites video or a beauty haul or something um, and I was getting it from Superdrug because they sent me a free sample. Now, after I'd used this up, which took me forever, I'm talking about nearly a year, like how good is that? I went back to repurchase it on Superdrug, 
couldn't find it anywhere, started to panic a little bit, just typed in the name of this product into Google and I found it, thankfully, on Superdrug's eBay outlet store. And I don't know how many are left, but I bought like two or three. <laughs> um, mainly because um, I don't want them to go out of stock because I really love it. Um, and the when I was buying this when it was stocked at Superdrug, it was something silly like two pounds. And then I went onto the um, outlet on eBay and they're like a quid. And I was like, yes, please. I need you now. So that's why I bought them. It was absolute bargain for a really, really, really good product. I don't know why they've been discontinued, but Superdrug, seriously, get this back on your shelves because I'll buy the whole damn lot. <laughs> hmm. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I just think it's really weird. I said, huh. Huh. <laughs> as I'm rediscovering products that I loved. The next product it was it was was a sample that I got given. I actually used um, the product that went along with this, and I featured it in my em last empty products video. Um, and I actually talked about this in it, and I used it up quite soon afterwards. And it is the Green People Hydrating Firming Serum. I loved this so much. I used this along with the other one. This was the day day serum and the other one was the night serum because it was more oily. Um, this was amazing, like so good. It's organic. Again, I'm talking about all the organic stuff coming along. It was just great um, under moisturizer, um, went well with makeup, um, sank in really quickly. It's literally chamomile, seaweed and rose geranium. That's it. That is literally, that's that's what's in it. This next one is one that I got in a glossy box ages ago, and I'm talking like nearly two years ago. It is the Eva Cosmetics Argan Oil Hair Elixir Mystic Diamond with with diamond powder. Mm, okay, I missed that bit. It's so nice. I was putting it on my hair after I washed it. I just towel dried it, put a little bit of a little blob of this on. It just needed like a quick on my hand, and that was all I needed. Rubbed it together, put it on my hair, and my hair really, really benefited from that. I think I would repurchase this, definitely, because it the ends of my hair really, really improved. And as soon as I stopped using it, I could tell, I could tell the difference. Next item is an item that I use all the time, and it is the Simple Kind to Eyes Eye Makeup Remover, like this. This is basically my go-to eye makeup remover for everything apart from waterproof makeup um, because this takes everything off. Um, doesn't leave my eyes stinging at all, really lovely. Next product I featured in a video recently, I think it's my current favourites one, and it is the um, Lush Vanilla Delight Body Lotion. Um, this went down so quickly, I was really surprised. Um, it's quite a runny consistency, um, but smells... I said this before, oh my god, it just exploded everywhere. Let's just rub that into my hands. That's, that's just delightful, mate. Thanks, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anyway, while I rub this into my hands, yeah, well, I did love it until it exploded everywhere. It kind of, when you, once you've rubbed it in, it's quite nice because I'm being refreshed by, it's refreshing my memory of what it was like by putting it in my hands now. It kind of, it went like water at the end. It was really weird as it was sinking in. Um. It smells really good though, I love vanilla. The next product is a product I got given in a goodie bag and it is the Bayless and Harding uh, Jojoba Silk and Almond Oil Luxurious Body Creme with added moisturisers. <laughs> now, this, oh, this lasted ages, like ages I'm talking. This is like nearly a litre, <laughs> it's ridiculous. A really good investment buy um, if you're looking for a ton of shower gel. This um, isn't great at lathering, you really have to wet your hands and really rub it to lather it. Um, I prefer a lathery, lathery? <laughs> I prefer a lathery shower gel just because it looks like it's working for me. Um, and I really had to work with this. I did feel a lot more moisturised actually, weirdly enough, with the added moisturisers. I found that really, I think that was 
definitely a good idea but it didn't leave like a um, residue or anything on my skin so this was really good I wouldn't rebuy it but um, that, that's the only reason why. This product is the Palmer's Cocoa Body Scrub. This was lovely. This is now my go-to body scrub until something else comes along. Oh my god, it just smells like chocolate. <laughs> you know, a girl and chocolate are just two little partners in heaven. You know? Doesn't leave a residue after you've washed it off. Um, and really moisturising actually. I've been reusing this and I've re-bought it. Definitely would recommend it. Yeah, really good. Love this and it's got vitamin E in it which is always good for your skin. Last but not least is a product that I got sent by the lovely people at Be Good um, and it is the um, Honey and Wild Water Mint 3-in-1 Cleansing Water. This is so good. Like really really good. Um, this Probably, I want to say it, it rivals Bioderma. I said it. <laughs> I said it right there. Really, really effective at taking off my makeup. Like to the point where I was using about four cotton pads and only then would my skin be clear. It was amazing because all the times I was using like the Avene cleanser, which didn't really take that much off, was a bit too sensitive. A bit too, what's the word? Yeah, a bit too sensitive on my skin, didn't really kind of take anything off. Um, this was like the opposite, it was amazing and it's great because you can actually see what's on your skin and what's coming off your skin. Um, a lot like what the Bioderma does, it is like a micellar, was that, I don't know how you say it, it's like a micellar water. Um, and this was amazing, so good. Smell really yummy, smell like honey like that. I could use this on my eyes as well so if I missed anything on my eyes I could just use this and it would not irritate them at all. Um, yeah and of course they support British bees which I am all for because I love bees. So yeah this is definitely a repurchase after my massive bottle of Bioderma goes down so yeah lovely. I've also got another cleanser from Bee Good that I'm going to review which will hopefully be up soon. Um, which was really good, um, but I will not spoil that for you, so. Yeah. So that is it, thank you very much for watching. I now have a lovely empty box in front of me and all of them lot are gonna go in the recycling. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and comment below if you've tried any of the products um, and whether you, you like them, whether you don't, or if there's anything you could recommend to me, I would love to hear what you've got to say. Um, yeah, and if you haven't clicked subscribe already, do click subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.